Hey guys, so in this video, I'll show you how to use custom fields in Shopify and being able to show them on your Shopify templates. So in this case, I'll show you how to add it to a custom page template as well as a product template. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here in your Shopify dashboard to access the custom fields, what you want to do is go here into settings. So down here on the bottom left, click into that. And then you want to go over here into custom data. Okay, and then this is where you want the custom field to appear. So first we'll set up for one of our custom pages. So go here into page. Okay, and then you'll need to add your custom fields over here. So we'll click add definition. Okay, so here we'll do first, let's say custom brand. Okay, and then you can choose the field here. So these are what they have available. So just text or multi-line text as well as files over here. So if you want to do like images or videos, you can do that here. Okay, so you have these fields available as well as say collections or any products. So you can create that within the custom fields as well. Okay, so we'll start off with just a single line text. Okay, so you can set it to be just one value or a list of values. So in this case, it'll just be one value. And then over here is your validation, but I'll just leave that blank for now. Okay, so just remember the name here, custom brand and click save. Okay, great. So now I'll just create one more. Let's do like custom collection just to add to the page. Okay, and then here we'll just name it custom product. Okay, and scroll down to product and then you can just do one product here okay, and save okay now we'll add these custom fields to our template so we can exit this and you want to go into your online store and then customize okay so over here we need to create a new template so let's do here and let's just do do extra and then it'll be based on a certain page. So we'll just base it on the default page here and click create template. Okay, so it'll just be a blank template here and then we can add some sections. So what we had first was just a text. So we can go over here and pick one of the widgets. So let's see what they have here. Okay, rich text, so let's do that. Okay, and then now over here, we can take this heading and then we can connect our custom field here. So we can just do connect dynamic source. And then we have our custom fields here. So we can click title. Okay, and then if we check on the side here, now our custom field has been added here. Okay, and then over here, we don't have a custom field for the description. So let's just create that real quick as well. Okay, so over here in the page meta fields, just add another definition. And then this one will be custom description okay and then just a uh, multi-line text and then save that as well okay, and then go back here and just save our template and then we can just refresh just to get all the custom objects okay so here in the heading just check our sources here and we use custom brand not title so make sure we use that and then we can remove this value here okay so that'll be blank for now because there's no data but that's what we're looking for and then we can click the one down here and remove the dummy data and click connect source and then here is description okay and then we had a custom product so we can do that here and just select featured product Okay, and then we can connect the dynamic source here and then we have custom product here. Okay, and then we can save this. And then now I'll show you how to fill in the data for the custom field. So we can exit and go into pages. And then we'll create two test pages. This is uh, page one. And make sure you use the correct template. So this will be the extra template. And then we see here we have our meta fields. So we can write a description, that's for page one. 
custom brand, page one brand, and then custom product. You can select the product, matcha green, okay, and then save. Okay, and I'll just create another page. Okay, and then make page two. And again, make sure it's the right template. So extra description and over here description for test two and then brand page two and then custom product and matcha green and save so again this is useful if you have multiple pages that use the same template so in that case that's when you would want to use custom fields if you just need to use it in a single instance then you can just do everything in the customizer and you don't have a need for these meta fields but if you're doing say multiple custom pages then having custom meta fields will help with creating new pages more effectively and then if we preview the page here awesome so we can see our brand page custom field so these fields are being pulled from the custom field database and then the custom product here which we connected okay great so next i'm going to show you how to create custom fields in the products so you're able to create custom sections and additional fields in your product page. So go back into your dashboard. Okay, and then go here back into custom data. Then we can check here. We have products, so we can do that. And then let's just do, say, additional information. Okay, so just a multi-line text you can also just select which category this field will apply to but i'll just keep it blank by default and click save okay and i'll just add another one too for say uh, additional image so this is below the carousel that's already included in the template so we can go here and then go to file okay and then you can also accept various files but this one will just be an image so just make sure to keep it fixed to whatever you're uploading just for user experience okay so this looks good so file and click save okay great so now we can apply this to our product template so we can go here into online store then customize okay and then over here in our products let's create a new template so just so we're not overriding the default one but we'll base it off the default template so this one will be called product with additional fields okay so there's just a limit so let's just do products additional fields create template okay so i just hide these ones here and then I'll add a new section so we had an image and a description. So we can do image with text here. So we'll add that in. And again, we can have text here so we can connect that description. So it's over here now. Additional information. So make sure you're using your custom field. Okay, and then just erase the demo content. Okay, this is good. And then as well as the image here so we can connect that here so additional image okay and then click save okay so this is good and then i'll just fill it in in the product edit form so go back and then go to products and over here in matcha green we have our fields down here so we can add in a new image so I'll just take the logo here and then just additional description s for additional description custom field and then save okay and then view our product oh yeah so we just need to apply the template as well so that's why it's not showing so let's just go back and then over here just make sure you apply the correct template so it'll just be our products with additional fields and click save and then preview and there we go so our custom fields are not showing here so again if you have different product layouts then using custom fields would be 
the solution as you're able to create different layouts based on the template. So that's something you can utilize here with custom fields. Okay, lastly, I'll show you how to use Liquid if you want to implement this directly with the codes. Say if you want to create a custom section that isn't available in the customizer, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's go here into settings, and then we'll create our custom field for testing. So go here to custom data and then pages. Okay, we'll just call this liquid implementation. Okay, single line and then save. Okay, and then you just want to make sure you have this is the key for accessing the custom field. So just copy that. Okay, and then we can go here into our customizer and then select the template where you want to implement this. So we'll do extra. Okay, so I'll just add a new section here at the bottom and this one will be custom liquid. Okay, and then we can add in our liquid here. Okay, so you first want to check that it's not empty. So since this is a page, so you want to do if page.metafields dot custom and then you can just paste in what that was called so custom liquid implementation so that shows that if there's a valid value and then we'll just close that off so and if okay, and then you can just add in your html markup here so i'll just do a paragraph so it'll be p and then again you can just copy this here and then use liquid syntax. So again, you have to understand liquid syntax in order to implement this. But again, this is just in a rare case that you need to do this. Usually you can just use the Shopify blocks and you can do it directly in the customizer here. Okay, and then just close off the paragraph tag. Okay, and then save this. Okay, now let's go back into our page meta field. So we'll do page one. I'll just make it visible as well. And over here, test for liquid implementation and save. And then view. And we scroll down. There we go. So this meta field is not showing. Of course, you have to style it, but this is just showing just the back end portion. So you can take this concept and implement it in multiple different Shopify layouts. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to follow along and set up Shopify fields on your Shopify store. If you'd like to get in contact with me, then you can check out my website, Maplet Media, to let me know about your project or if you need any help with your website. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date on my future videos. And thanks for watching.